What are your viewers doing once they finish watching your videos? Are they actually taking the actions that you want them to take? Or are they doing something else? Because if they're not, then you need to stick around because I'm going to share with you how you can create your own call to actions for your YouTube videos. Hi, Joshua Vanderbrook here, founder of Video Marketing Done For You, where we help entrepreneurs just like yourself to make your video marketing simple. Now, when we speak with our clients about creating online video, the first thing that we speak to them about is their call to action. And that is, what is it that you want your viewers to do when they finish watching your video? Because if you're not clear on what that is, then you're not gonna get the desired outcome that you're after. So there's a whole bunch of different types of call to actions that you can get your viewers to do. It could be to subscribe to your YouTube channel. It could be to share that video with some of their friends or colleagues who may benefit from your content. It might be to opt into a particular offer by clicking on a link to a landing page. It might be a sales offer. So again, clicking off to another link. It might be just to come back to your website or blog to view more of your content. It could be to make a phone call if you're a local business so you can get an inquiry into your business. There's so many things that you can actually get your viewers to do. You need to be clear about what it is that you actually want them to do first. If you're just starting out using YouTube as a platform to host your online videos, then your focus should be trying to get your viewers to view more of your content. That could be in the form of subscribing to your channel, watching another video, or even coming back to your blog. Now, if you've got a few videos that start to follow a particular theme, then you would want to shift your focus so that your call to action is more about getting them to opt in to a free offer. And that free offer has got to be related to that theme of those videos. Because otherwise, if it's an offer that's completely disjointed, you're not going to get them to opt in. So the key here is to try and move the relationship with your viewer from YouTube to your email database, where you can communicate more freely with them, more regularly, and even introduce some other offers, including sales offers. Forget the sales offers on YouTube. It doesn't belong there, they belong somewhere else. Keep it for the email. If you like this video and would like more quick tips on how you can use YouTube as part of your video marketing strategy, then please subscribe to our channel or check out the next video. Look forward to seeing you then. <laughs> Action! <sighs> Joe, did you leave the camera on again?